Now, it uh, looks like Tom just got into the room right now, so let me just um, – let me just X out of this really quick and bring out the PowerPoint. Let me just introduce you to Tom, uh, Tom Busby really quick. Um, does everyone here know who Tom is? Everybody here know who Tom Busby is? Good, good, good. Well, Tom, I'll just give you a little heads up. Um, I know Tom for, it's got to be at least, geez, maybe 20 years, I would think. <laughs> All right. So I know Tom for such a long time um, over the years. And Tom and I go way, way back. We traveled around the world. Um, we've done events from from Canada to New York to just basically all over the place. And uh, you know, Tom, uh, you know, has been been around since the 70s. He's actually been doing it longer than me. You know, when we when I talk about people that you know, when when you're as long as him and I in this industry, we obviously are doing something right. Uh, we will probably the 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 only there's like. You could count them on a finger, maybe five of us back then who started back then. He was actually one of the first out there. So obviously what he does really been works, been around. He's got a great office you could see out there in Mobile, Alabama. He's also an author of three books. Um, he does exactly very similar to stuff I do. I tr you know, trading with your traders. He's got a great trading room. You know, he does futures. Very one of the probably the best futures trader I've ever met in my life. Listen, when I went down there and he wanted me to do a presentation, I didn't really know anything about futures, but when I did, I went to him and I listened to exactly what it is. You go to the experts, and that's why I'm very fortunate to have him. So Tom and I go way, way back, and it's always nice to have him on board. And, uh, you know, I know he's a legend, Robert. Well, now, now's your opportunity. You can never not get enough of listening to him because you always learn something new. Great traders always learn something new, especially when we're trading every day. So with that said, Tom, um, is your – are you there, Tom? Yeah. Fausto, I hear you loud and clear, and thank you so much. Good to hear your voice. It's good. To hear, hey, listen, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you. I didn't get a text message, but I'm going to I'm gonna say it, uh, broadcast everyone before you do it for me. Uh, you got it. Back at you, son. Back at you. <laughs> well, Tom, thanks for coming here. It's great to hear your voice again. And, uh, you know, like I said, stage is all yours. Enjoy. Everyone enjoy. Thanks, Fausto. And, folks, you know, Fausto told you the truth. We traveled around the country. We used to do uh, a show. Uh, where we'd take about four hours and then we'd stay over and do uh, live uh, live trading for a few days in front of people. And uh, I know that uh, it's a, just a lot of fun to hear Fausto's voice and some of the trips we took to Toronto, uh, Vancouver, uh, Las Vegas, around the country has been, been sort of fun. And um, But you're here today, I think, if I... If I know why you're here, you're here really to walk away with something that might help you uh, figure out how to make money in the market. And if anybody tells you it's easy, it's not easy. <laughs> I tell you, I, sometimes I look at, uh, look at things and I think, wow, why did I stay in this business when uh, I maybe had some other opportunities? But the real reason that it's such a great business. If you ever get the game, I call it the game, if you ever get the game figured out, um, you can sort of write your own ticket, and I like that. I like the fact that when I show up in the morning, I'm going to put my wits against the world's wits, and, and one of us is going to walk away with more money than we started with, and that's why I love the uh, what I call the art of trading. Uh, in 2000, we... Uh, built this building, moved into it in 2001. And I did that because I felt like that it was a great place. Traders needed a place to go, sit around a room, and where everybody in here would be talking about trading. And we've held pretty true to that over the years. I know that uh, it's a great building, and we just did a real modernization plan uh, to bring all this new technology in. Uh, smart uh, smart boards, you know, uh, Roku TVs, a lot of different things, new sound systems and all that to make a better online experience. And we made that investment because we truly believe that traders learn more from each other than, uh, than they can do at any other place. So you've got to sort of network, network with other people that are successful, and if you can find somebody that's got their head on straight 
can give you uh, good advice, uh, then they're priceless connections. So thank you for coming. Um, I'm looking at a clock here, and I'll get going. But that's right. That is the way we started right there in 2001 when we moved here, and we started teaching and trading. Now, risks involved in trading. You know, when they tell you about risk, you think, well, there's not much risk in this, and it's a little defined risk or whatever, but the point is, you know, one or two uh, pops to the to the head, and you go, wow, what happened to my money? Uh, a lot of people, you know, forget the most important question before they make a trade, and I always tell people this. Decide where you're wrong. And do it way before you enter the market because if you decide where you're wrong and then you get out, then it becomes a process. And that process is what you're betting on. Not that, uh, you know, what you did yesterday is going to help you today, but if you follow the process. I know today uh, the market started out uh, last night in Asia falling out of bed. It's been all night in Asia, all night in Europe, and then. The DAX is a market I follow. Started uh, rising, and I told some people in my room this morning, "Hey, the DAX is holding this thing together." And the next thing you know, the market makes a recovery, and we go up and make new highs. I think that's important sometimes when you're able to look at that kind of movement, and you see it right before your very eyes. Now, I do have three books, one in the day trading game, The Markets Never Sleep, and Trade to Win. I guess I'm sort of partial to my first, which is uh, sort of my story, how I got started, how I turned it around, and how, after all these years, I still do what I do. 1987, I don't know if you were around trading back then. And I, I get a kick out of talking to uh, a lot of people that wasn't there as traders. and they call it a correction, and sure enough, if you go look at the 1987 year, it looks like, oh, that's just a little correction. But living through that three days or week that uh, the market was in turmoil was something to observe. In fact, a lot of things that if I'd had to experience today, uh, it would have been, it would been what I would say, a real opportunity instead of a, a disaster for me. You know, the market uh, dropped 22% that day and not good. Who actually was in the market in 1987? Let me date you a little bit. Who was in the market in 1987? I remember. I had had some IBM, and IBM back in those days, if you traded IBM, you paid like three hundred dollars a hundred shares. And uh, I remember it took three days to find out where we sold at. That's how far the tape was running behind. And uh, but I learned a lot from 1987. I still apply a lot of those lessons today. And I'll tell you, it uh, uh, it helped me succeed over the years. Uh, we had the, uh, you know, the pullback in '96. We had the pullback in uh, 2000. The pullback in '08, and uh, we had the pullback in '11 when they shut the government down. We've had the pullback in October of last year. Okay, and so you recognize those kind of events way before everybody else does, and that gives you quite an edge. You also recognize. You also recognize when those events are over and you got to move on. Let's talk some market insights. And this is what I've done uh, throughout my career is I follow the S&P 500. Because 75% of all stocks will follow the S&P 500. I hear people all the time, I don't understand why this stock's down. I say, well, it's very simple. It's part of the S&P 500 and the S&P is down. You notice that last night with the market uh, going down in Asia and in Europe and this morning, a lot of these stocks opened lower. You know, Amazon, for example, closed at 61 and went down as low as uh, you know 23 this morning. This is, this is what 
I follow the S&P, and then I trade stocks and options off the S&P. And people go, well, how do you do that? Well, that's what we teach. Now, holiday markets are, trend, are typically trend changes. We had this happen this year. I've had this insight for years. We were negative in the Christmas Eve and closed at the low on Christmas Eve, and we came out of Christmas Eve the next day after Christmas, and you had a trend change. That trend change is what you're trading today, okay? The next time I would expect to get another trend change or an acceleration will be February the 19th. I find that holidays are where most of what I would call the trend changes occur at and the accelerations. So you look for one of those two events at those dates, and the next date is February the 19th. That's an insight. Now, I always tell people it's quite simple when you're looking to buy stocks. Buy stocks that are above the yearly open. And I know a lot of people have been, uh, you know, trying to think about Apple. Well, I can just tell you right now is – Apple, okay, Apple has to get above about 155 to turn positive this year. It hasn't really participated, even though it came off its lows, but it will participate if you start getting above 155. That's an example. Other stocks are above their yearly open. Lulu, marijuana stocks, Tilray, you know, U.S. Steel, stocks like that. I always tell people the easiest way to determine if you're right or wrong, look at your trading account. And at the end of the day, I've got a little thing I go through. And if everybody out there would do this one little insight, you'd be a lot better when we got to the end of this year. It's very simple. You get to the end of the day. It's uh, about 2.45, I'd say, Central Time. That's 15 minutes before the close. You get to the end of the day, and if you've got stocks in your portfolio, that lost money, in the, in, I'm saying diverging from the general market, the market say went up that day, and these stocks lost money, the best course of action would be, okay, the best course of action would be to get rid of that. I'm just telling you. That's one thing that if everybody did that, you'd be a lot better. So every day you start out with winners as opposed to losing, instead of the hope that everybody gets caught into. Now, if uh, I think the slides are advancing on my end, or they're not advancing on your end, nothing to do about it, I guess. Just listen, but uh, we'll have. I'm sure Fausto will have this taped and everything. Okay. I plan out everything I do in the market because the emotions weigh too much into your decision making and you have to plan it out, okay? And so therefore, what I would tell you, and it's pretty simple, is plan your week, plan your day, and plan your trades. There's three things you got to know before you make a trade. You got to know where you're going to enter that trade. You got to know where you're going to be wrong on that trade, and you also have to know where it's time to take it off the table. Before I do any stock, option, or futures, I always answer that question to myself before I go in, and it's really based off the S and P. Okay. Also, just based off the S and P, and I think that's something that. Uh, that you've got to do before you, you know, get serious about this game of winning, okay? Now, my success is not easy. And what I mean by that is I have to work at it even after all these years. I have to be open-minded. I have to say to myself, what can I do that was better? Basically, I'm always accumulating and always working towards that perfect game. Sometimes you 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 know you, you do it, but in general, you're not going to be perfect in trading. You know, eight out of ten in trading is perfect. Don't think about the fact that 
that you're, you know, you've got all these winning trades, but think about your success rate. And eight out of 10 is perfect. So you don't have to be perfect to make a lot of money in the market. You just have to follow a process. And the hardest thing about trading is not winning. The hardest thing about trading is losing. And what I mean by that is losing is part of this game. And so you go into any trade or anything that you do, you go in there with the idea, with the idea, if I'm wrong, that's okay. But this is where I'm wrong at. And know that way before you put money at risk. Now, green circle country. It's a theory I came up with years ago. I said, let's just look at a big picture of trading. Not about I got in here and out there, but basically, did I make money or did I lose money? Green circle country is my term for you made money. No matter how you made money that day, you'd be surprised. If you make money and you start out at the daily level, go to the weekly level, to the monthly level, to the yearly level, then you got something to talk about. So I think in terms of a day inside of a week. That's the way I look at the market. Now, I'll tell you this. I always tell people, say, Tom, how right are you? I will tell you that four out of five times I'm going to be right. The one time I'm wrong, that's where you get hurt. You've got to take those losses. I never know, even to this day, that this trade's going to be that big gangbuster trade. What I do know, though, is that I'm going to be right four out of five times. For example, I'm about to tell you something. I want you to write this down. The S&P opened this year at 2508. We're currently 2577. Here's what I'm going to tell you. This market is going to be in an upward move towards an S&P of 2675 between now and February the 19th. Now, that's a statement. I believe that the market's going to move up from here to 26.75. Now, four out of five times when I say that, I know I'm going to be right. But what if I'm wrong? Well, where am I wrong? I'm wrong if the S&P on the day, today, we're talking about today, breaks 25.52. On the S&P, I'm wrong on the year if it breaks 2508. So that's where I'm wrong on what I just told you. I know that. I have that frame in my mind, and that's the way I approach the stock market. I approach options, and I approach anything I'm trading. That is something that we teach, and this is something I wish everybody would do. Four out of five times a pretty good approach to the market. Now let's dream a little bit. I like doing this little little portion of the presentation. Let's dream. Everybody likes to dream. Play a game of multiple choice. If, okay, you had a choice between A, B, or C, which one would you choose if you had a choice? A, B, or C. Michael says all. Oh. <laughs> I don't see any golfers here. Well, I see a couple of them, all three, right? Okay. I'd, I'd definitely do B first, and then probably A, then C, the way I would do it. Kalen says do it all. What about this one? Who, which one of these three would you choose? You know, trading can allow you to do this. If you learn this game, you could do A, B, or C. Here's one. This, I, I can tell you now, 90% of you will pick C. Look at, look at C popping up there. 90%. I've done this slide in front of hundreds of people. And they always pick C. Ninety percent. Now, what is trading? 
trading, in my estimation, is one real simply broken down to are your buys less than your sales? That's all trading is. Do I buy something for less than I sell it for, or do I sell something and then buy it back at a lower price? That's what trading is to me. Bees versus sales. Now, the big question in trading is to decide whether to be long or short. Long or short. Or stay out. Now, a lot of you are chart readers. I want you to fess up. Say, I'm a chart reader, Tom. If you're a chart reader, I've been studying charts my whole career, I'm going to show you what I use in charts. These three patterns. The first one is a, a long chart, and that's what you would see if you looked at this year and looked at the S&P or look at one of these stocks that have moved up, like Costco, for example. Okay? The second pattern is staying out, and the third pattern is going down. We had a lot of that in that fourth quarter last year, the third pattern. Learn, memorize these three patterns when you're making trades or making investments. Do I have a rising chart or a sinking chart, or do I have a chart that's not telling me anything? And I will tell you, you can look at a lot of different time frames on charts. I prefer the 30-minute chart. I prefer the 30-minute chart. Then it becomes, let's connect the dots. If we took, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. If I took 2508, where we opened the year at, and I took the price of 2580 and connected those dots, what direction would that be? It's not hard. This market's going up, folks. And that's why I say you connect the dots. Up. Now, here's the here's the uh the numbers. We opened a week at twenty five thirty seven. Right now we're twenty five sixty one at nine thirty. Right now we're at twenty five eighty. That's telling us we're going higher on today. If I look at the advanced decline line, it's changed from being really negative to almost being positive. You've got a reversal of that nightly trend right now in process. And we'll know the answer by 1 o'clock what the rest of the day is. Look at Amazon. It's bullish, 1602 to 1649. The trading process is where are you going to enter, what your target is, and where you're wrong. Early on, Wall Street tried to complicate things for me, and I realized you had to make things simple. And that's what we've done the better part of the 40 years, the last 25 as I've been teaching, is try to simplify the world of trading for you. We don't have time to send out for studies. We have to be on the right side. Let's talk software. Years ago, the commercial software was lacking a lot. Now it's pretty good. But what I decided to do, I said, if this is going to be my career, I've got to have the flexibility to bring into play things I know that work. So we built at DTI software that allows you to see all this stuff that experience gives you inside of software. Okay? We call the software the roadmap software, DTI's roadmap, long, short, or out, and we let it do the work for you. We didn't want to sit in front of a screen. We wanted to take advantage of what the market was doing and do it in a simple, straightforward way to analyze. I'm going to teach you four patterns today with our software that makes this process simple. If you learn these four patterns, you will start off at a minimum of 67% being right. And then you plug that into your loss, to your gains, 
and that's how you make money. So let's let me teach you the four patterns. I call it the 67% accurate module. A buy signal. If I see in our software this pattern, I'm long. That's simple. Whatever it is, I'm long if I see that pattern. I have what's called a penetration bar and a confirmation bar, and I'm long. Doesn't matter what it's in, that market's going up. Crude oil or, or Slumberjay fit that pattern this week. Now, what happens if it goes up and fails without a confirmation bar? Well, that's even a better pattern. We had a lot of these in December where the market would try to go higher and fail. The roadmap got us on the right side. It's there for you to be that guideline of discipline that you're going to need. Sell signals, opposite of the buy signal, down we go. Sell failure, this is what we had today. It came down, tried to sell. Didn't sell, we reversed, we got above the sell penetration bar, and we've been up ever since. That's why this market's going higher right now, the sell failure. Now, Alan, become a good friend of mine, but Alan said, using the software, okay, during a highly volatile market, and markets that everybody was saying different things, helped him have clarity. I've had this message from many people over the years about the roadmap software. There's three steps. You're long, you're short, or you're out, and you connect the dots. The roadmap software is one of the industry's best analytical software. A lot of people use it. They won't tell you they use it. We put a system together. We called it Roadmap Trading System. And it covers all the aspects of trading in simple terms. One of my requirements for Jeff Smith, our chief instructor, was, Jeff, make it not in engineering terms, but in simple money-making ways. We think the benefits are it's easy to learn. Within a couple days, you can use this in a real market. Whether you're an advanced trader or a beginning trader, it will help you interpret, analyze, and execute. You can be a small player or a big player. It works. We, we have an annual fee, no monthly subscription. The Roadmap Software System, I'm so proud of it, and it's our legacy here at DTI with what we've done in the world of trading. We've added things like the scanner to go find those stocks that fit all the DTI method criteria. You ought to see the track record just from those stocks. This is the first pattern. This is about a 30-minute group of lessons that we put together. We test you on it to make sure you understand it, and then you're ready to fly. The global markets, we incorporate the global markets into our software. No, a lot of software doesn't do that. A lot of software doesn't plot all that stuff. But we do setups that are proprietary. We show you where the money is. We have custom trading alerts that pop up on your screen and say, hey, it's time to go long. The DTI method is well proven. It's what I've used and so many people after me once they learned it. Trade management is part of every successful approach. We spend a lot of time in that in our module because, you know, a lot of questions are sometimes asked if you get stopped out. Who's ever been stopped out that, and then you say, do I get back in? Well, the roadmap is there to help you decide once you learn what to look for. Of course, we don't want you to take years to learn it, so we have a rapid results, quick start guide. Now, this is a big change, and Fausto uh, didn't have this when I met Fausto. And we, we, Jonathan is the guy that I hired right out, of, right out of college. He worked as an intern. He impressed me. We now call him our onboard specialist because I, if you're like me, I didn't want to mess with the software. I wanted to use the software, and I didn't want to deal with the computer, so I told 
Jonathan, your job is getting this software on people's computers. Jonathan does that. He schedules an appointment. All you have to do is uh, be on the phone, set it up, and he he basically gets it running for you. This has been one of the, what I call, big changes at DTI. This year or last year, we sold four times as many roadmaps as we had in previous years. I believe it simply was because we simplified the process of getting it. The whole system is there. We also have live monthly coaching sessions that we do. Unlimited support always at DTI. That's a, a theme of our company. Now, notice we say risk-free. We used to sell all this for a lot of money. I finally cut down the price and said, okay, we're going to make this a no-brainer. It's going to improve your trading. That's one of the statements we'll make. It's going to make you feel more comfortable and where once you get it down, you will love it. You won't be sitting in front of that computer all the time making these good trades. So here's what we do. It's $4.97. You got 90 days to drive it around, beat it up, trade with it, learn from it. And if you don't like it, we'll buy it back from you. You know, I you know, I think the industry average on an offer like this is probably about five percent. Ours is less than one percent. Once you get it, the light bulb goes off. You're able to look at the market like I'm able to look at the market and tell you, hey, we ought to be buying this market right now based off the roadmap. So the offer is four ninety seven. I like bringing people on board. So, got a simple link. It's called dtitrader.com slash action. Only those people that take action, only those people that believe in themselves enough say, hey, I might learn a lot in the 90 days and stay with it. You might learn how to read charts. You might learn how to read the tape. But most of all, you're going to do it with a group of people they're using it, and by the way, your accuracy is going to increase and your risk is going to go down if you follow our approach. Can't beat that. So there it is, no brainer. Take it away, folks. I've been it's been fun being with you today. The time is twelve thirty to one, and I want to thank Fausto for having me. Yeah, Fausto, Tom, I'm sorry. Or Hill. Yeah, Tom, thank you so much for being here. And uh, like I said, uh, Happy New Year to you. And great presentation. You guys take him up on his offer. Like I said, Tom's I know him for over almost 20 years now. We traveled all over. He, he, nothing has changed other than ticket charges have gone down and technology. But uh, the training, you know, training the market's the same way. He's been, you know, we've been offering this product forever. And it's uh, obviously, if he is, it's obviously been working. So uh, definitely take him up on that. But thanks a lot, Tom. Thank everybody for being here. I'd like to thank the staff and also for making this possible. And uh, look forward to hopefully everyone had an opportunity to try a little bit of everything. And then we'll look at, we'll look forward to being in touch uh, for our next upcoming Cyber Expos. Thanks, everybody. See you all. Have a good one.